Hi, you guys. It is Friday, January 11th, 2019. My name is Doris, and this is the Knit and Pearl Podcast, episode 167. I am coming to you from Snowpalooza, <laughs> St. Louis area. We are under a really bad storm forecast winter storm so it is late I went to work it started snowing around 1 45 I left work got home well had to go to the grocery store and get stuff for um, French toast <laughs> Not really. I just had to pick up a few things. One of those things includes eggs. I didn't get bread or milk. <laughs> and cook some supper. And now I'm going to sit down with you all and do our bi-weekly or bi-monthly podcast. Happy New Year. You can find the show notes for this podcast on knitandpearl-doris.blogspot.com, linked in the show notes below. In social media, I am One Fine Cow on Ravelry and Twitter. I am One Fine Design on Facebook and Etsy, and I am Doris M. Smith, all lowercase, and smooch together on Instagram. I just found a mistake. This podcast has a Ravelry group, which is the Knit and Pearl podcast group, also linked down below. I do a birthday shout out every podcast, and these birthdays were from January 1st through January 15th. Two birthdays. We have Frog Princess 21 CA, who is Tanya. Her birthday was will be on the 14th of January, and we have Nadia B54 who's Nadine. Her birthday is on the 15th of January. I have a niece whose birthday was on the 15th, is on the 15th of January. So happy birthday, you all. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, that you get good fibery gifts, that you get to do all the things that you want to do, to spend time with friends and family, and most of all, that you have your version of a birthday cake, because it is your birthday. So celebrate. Have your birthday. So, story of the week in stash enhancement. This is going to be a little different, and it's basically just going to be the basics of a podcast, but during the story of the week in stash enhancement, I will be doing a year in review, finished objects year in review, just kind of calculating what I did in 2018, and then we're going to do a whip review, finish your frog. I have like 13 or 14 bags right over here we're going to go through. I can't believe there's that many bags, but I don't know that all of them have whips in them. We shall see. So I did purchase some, uh, it's it's AK Soft Carpchupo, Carpchupo, whatever, from Hobium for a project, which you will see in the whip section. I am crocheting something and you'll see that in the whips and I'm sorry about the light. I like the yarn. It is. It does tend to split a little bit. It is 100% acrylic. It feels nice to the touch and it is crocheting up, crocheting up nicely. There are uh, 264 yards per skein and I just got the package of five and I'm working on the third ball right now. I got it last Friday, and I'm almost finished with what I started, so. <laughs> that's all the whips, or that's all the, the um, stash enhancement that I have. So, let me have a little drink. Out of my Neil Pottery. It's a wine cup from Neil's Pottery. I saw it, and I couldn't resist it, so. And it's Friday night, so I'm having a little sip. Okay. So, year in review. 
2018, I did not do very well as far as the foes. I had 35 finished objects for the whole year. I know that there was some time that I didn't knit a lot or my knitting, I didn't have the desire to knit, but also I knit some big things. So here's my list. So we're just gonna go through it. I knit eight shawls. And some of those were, were finished objects from the year before. I knit three Zuzu's petals. I knit two pair of socks. <laughs> I want to knit more socks. And I really want to knit another Vanilla is the New Black heel. I really, really like that heel. And it fits my foot really well. Vanilla is the New Black sock pattern. Okay. I knit four stuffies, two of the the kitty beans and or three of the kitty beans and then I just kind of like knit a little thing on the sly on the fly. I knit four baby blankets. I did f four skeins of yarn I spun. I knit four garments, which might be the reason why I, I've made four garments because I crocheted a poncho. I knit my um, ninnel chick swancho. I knit a uh, flax color block sweater and I knit a baby sweater. One hand towel, two washcloths, one chunky cowl, a mermaid tail, and one hat. <laughs> wow. Uh, for 35, for a total of 35 finished objects for 2018. I don't know what the yardage is. And the new things I learned in 2018. Color work. The Ninnel Chick Swancho was my very first attempt at color work and I really, really enjoyed it. Really did. It wasn't that bad. You know, I... When I, before I started, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos about uh, color work and how to hold the yarn and stuff. And I was feeling very, um, like overwhelmed by holding the yarn and I tried to hold it and I didn't. So then I came across this one video and I wish I remember what it was, um, but the lady goes, you don't have to hold both of them at the same time. Knit a few stitches in the color, drop that color, pick up the next color. And, and that's the way I started to knit. But now with the Tecumseh, I am finding myself holding the, not really holding wrapped around the, the one, holding one, like the main color in my normal way that I hold it. But in the other one, I'm like holding it. And then I do you need to hear this. I I do continental knitting. And so the main color or the you know the 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 main color I hold like continental knitting. The other one I kinda hold and then I wrap for the other color. So color work is pretty awesome and I'm so Happy that I completed my ninnel chick and learned. So I don't know what I'll learn in 2019. I don't know. We'll see. So now I'm just going to go through. Like I said, I have a pile of bags over here. I'm just going to pick it up. This is a bag from Thank God for Bags. And this is not a not a a whip but a I want to knit this whip it's got the needles in it and the yarn for another Zuzu's petals I think this would be a gorgeous coming into spring um Zuzu's petals don't you so I got the needles in here to make it and I'm gonna leave it because I do want to knit it but I don't know when. So I'm going to leave it in the bag as a, what do you call it? A nap. But I'm leaving it in the bag. So 
Put it up there. I'm going to knit it. This bag, do you know what's in it? The eyeball shawl. I pulled this, I took this out of the bag because I was contemplating, I was contemplating frogging it and using the yarn to make the potluck sweater, t-shirt sweater thing. But when I pulled it out and looked at it, I still love it. I still want to finish it. So I'm going to finish it this year. That's a goal. This year I'm going to finish my eyeball shawl. Right now I've got things that I want to complete first. This is coming back out. I'm thinking I'm going to finish my Tecumseh and I'm pulling this out and I'm going to finish it. There's not that much left to do. There's not that much left to do. I'm going to finish it. Which side? This is which side is the active? This side is the active side. Okay, I'm gonna finish it. Like I said, I there's a couple other sweaters I want to knit, but I'm gonna I'm going to finish this before I start another sweater. It's coming back into rotation soon. Um. This is the virus shawl. It's hibernating. I'm going to finish it. It's just right now there's other things that have taken the front, front seat. So I'm going to finish it. In this bag, another thank God for bags bag. This was a fat squirrel bag. What my first fat squirrel bag. I don't know that I'm going to have luck going through these. This is just a bag of um, cotton and the scrubby stuff. I'm going to frog this stuff because, and then I'm going to do this with these cottons that I have in here. I'm going to end up, the next dishcloth thing I do is going to be with this scrubby material. I'm leaving it in the bag. I'm not I'm going to do this sometime this year. So I'm leaving it in the bag. This one This is actually <laughs> What is this called? It's the um chevron blanket, baby blanket from uh Aspas Trico. I said it right and I actually pulled it out and I did some rows this this time to remind myself whether because I was like looking around at bags and I saw this bag and I pulled it out and I'm like let me just like try I love it I love the rhythm of the pattern I stopped it because it was so slow I'm gonna finish this and there's gonna be a baby that's gonna love this I'm going to finish it because I like the pattern. So it's going back in rotation. Chevron Baby Blanket by Espastrico. So that is four bags down. Five bags down. This one is a 31 bag. And the project in here, I started with these minis I got at a retreat that I went to. It is the Fiber Friends scarf. I took the needles out. I'm going to frog this. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I didn't like this. No. I don't, it's not that I don't like the yarn. I love the yarn. It's beautiful. 
but I didn't like the project. So this is definitely going to be frogged. Like I said, I already took the needles. It's going to be frogged. Recapture this yarn and try to figure out what else I can do with this beautiful stuff. Because it is very nice yarn. I don't have a lot. Some kind of scrappy thing. So this is going to be frogged. I'm going to leave it in the bag for now. Where do I put my frog stuff? I'll put it over here. <laughs> this bag is another, and I love this bag. This is a cow bag that I got from, thank God for bags. It's so cute. I need to, I need to bring this bag back into rotation. And in this, this, I took this project with me to um, Florida last year. This is, um, I don't know, and I started a mitten, but it's too small. So I'm frogging it, reclaiming the yarn. I'm taking the needles out. I don't know what this yarn is going to be. Not these mittens, because it's too small. So I'm reclaiming the needles. This was the um, world's simplest mitten pattern by Tin Can Knits. And yeah, I'm going to frog that, reclaim the needles, and reclaim this bag. <laughs> Reclaiming the bag. Okay. We're making a little headway here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll just deal with this later. Okay, um, sock bag. This is my Taurus bag by, thank God for bags. Do you see a theme here? <laughs> and this is just cotton and the needles to make the, um, I'm gonna leave this in here. What else is in here? I'm going to leave this in here. Well, stitch, stitch, a row counter. <laughs> because, you know, I might need to make some more washcloths. For now, I'm just going to leave it in the bag. When I get the urge, I'll knit washcloths. I should put figure out where I'm going to put these bags that have yarn specific yarn like the um sc scrubby stuff and now this for future projects another bag by thank god for bags it's more like um like a notions bag but i have a project in here do you remember this i started A crozy memories, whatever, whatever. I haven't knit on it in a long time. I don't even remember how many stitches I started, but I, I, I'm sure I can figure that out. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm going to keep it in here until it outgrows. <clears throat> and I'm using some little DPNs. Some DPNs, what size? I was using 2.25 US 1. I like the pat, I like the material. I like it. So even if it just becomes a pillow, I'm going to continue that sometime. <laughs> another one that's going to stay in the bag that may or may not get worked on this year okay guys I'm not making much headway here we got two projects are frogging this is my crochet pattern for pattern crochet work for the um, the shawl the um, pinwheel shawl I'm going to pick this back up again. I think this would be a really awesome 
springtime shawl coming into springtime. It's beautiful. I'm gonna finish it. It's a crochet pattern. It is gonna be finished. It is gonna be picked up. It might be long term, but I'm not frogging it. <laughs> okay. In my sock bag from Knit Spin Farms, drawstring knits. It's a sock that I started a long time ago on smaller needles, more stitches. Frogging, because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. It's, I want to make a pair of socks out of this beautiful um, Regia. Uh, what is it called? Floramania color. Let me get it up closer. You can see it. I want to make socks out of this, but I don't know where I was and what I was doing with this, so it's going to be frogged. I'm going to put it over here to, to pull out later. Reclaim my bag. Put the needles back away. And here's... What I did was I actually... Um, did I start a pair of socks? I don't remember why I have this. I made um, the, Barbie, the Barbie doll tail with... This yarn, remember the mermaid tail that I did from the for the Barbie doll? With this yarn. So I'm gonna frog this, reclaim the yarn, reclaim the needles. Oh boy, I'm having a mess over here. I'll reclaim the bag. What did I do with the other one? I'm gonna have a big mess to clean up after this is over. This is the kit that I purchased for the novelty sweater. I took the points out. I don't like this. I don't know how do I get this apart. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm frogging it. Reclaiming the yarn. It's cotton yarn. Do something with it. I don't know. But I don't like this. This pattern just was... I wasn't enjoying it. So I'm going to frog this as well. Frog. Finally, I have in my Fat Squirrel recently purchased flat Fat Squirrel bag is a recent project for the Pink Along in October that got put on this on the back burner because of um, Christmas knitting and baby baby blanket knitting and all of that. I, w I want this. I will finish this. So, this will go back in rotation soonish. So, I'm going to frog one, two, three, four things. Um,. I'm trying to remember what was in the what was in this. Four things are just projects that aren't that I'm going to do eventually. And then two reclaimed, three reclaimed, four reclaimed bags. And one, two, three, four, five. Five projects that will be finished. So I'll organize myself later. So let's just get into. This is a mess. I'm glad you can't see this. 
<laughs> okay. I have no finished objects. Whips. My Tecumseh. Making progress. The Tecumseh is a paid for pattern on Ravelry by Boylan Knits or Caitlin Hunter. The yarn is the Card Capo from Hobium. Let me get my notes where I can better see what's going on here. The um, Card Tapo. It is 25% wool and 75% acrylic. Here's what the label looks like. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just one of those days. It's dark. It's like after six. Car top car poo by Hobium. Okay, if you can see that orange thing, and it's hard, that's where I was the last time you saw it. I completed 17 rows of just stockinette, and then I did the chart A, which is the cross, and I'm working, I'm almost finished. This is the last color work portion of the body of the sweater. And then I'll be picking up for the sleeves. Actually, you're supposed to knit nine inches past the separation for the sleeve. What I'm going to do is finish, obviously finish chart B and do nine inches. And then I'm gonna leave the stitches on the needles and then pick up this and knit the sleeves and then go back. I just want to make sure I have enough yarn. I'm positive. I'm pretty sure I'll have enough yarn. This is the second ball of the main color and I have five of these. So I probably will have enough, but just to make sure, I mean, let's lose the stitches. Just to make sure I'm going to do the nine inches because you, you finish the chart and then you knit until you have nine inches from the armhole and then you do the rib. I'm going to do the nine inches and then I'm going to hold the stitches, put them on hold, and I'm going to finish the sleeves and then go back and fit and make it as long as I want it to be. Tecumseh. It's going to be a very casual nice warm sweater that I will love wearing even though it's not my color colors it's one of those colors that I like to wear lounging or just you know whatever I love it my second my second color work project is more than half done so That's that. My second work in progress is my um, socket hat, which is a free pattern on Ravelry by Kelly McClure. The yarn I'm using is on the round. It's her signature sock yarn in the crime of passion color. The needles I'm using is US is is a US. What is it? 2.5, 3, millim three, 3 millimeter. And these are Knitter's Pride Dreams. I'm knitting Magic Loop. And I want you to see the beautiful color that is Crime of Passion by On the Round. It's so pretty. I finished the four inches of ribbing. And I'm stuck in netting <laughs> in the round right now. I'll pick it up and knit a few rows several times a day. 
here's where I was the last time you saw it. So I've got a good amount done. The, uh, the virus shawl is hibernating for now. And the, the net, the last uh, work in progress is a new project. I got this yarn Friday, last Friday, a week ago, because I wanted to crochet the midwife baby blanket for my new, soon to be delivered, granddaughter, Marley, Marley Atwell. And here it is. This is the, um, the midwife baby blanket, which is a free pattern on Ravelry by Rebecca Langford. Uh, the, the link from the pattern will take you to her blog spot. And this is a replica of the blanket that was seen in the series called The Midwife. Isn't it so pretty? Isn't it so pretty? It's such, I mean, I'm almost done, okay? This calls for 11 of these repeats. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm starting on the ninth one. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with a blanket for like a stroller. It's, but I'm actually, I'm using a little bit thicker yarn and bigger needles than what the pattern called for. And it will have a, um, what do you call it? A border. But isn't that just so, and it's so much fun and it's so simple. If you got a baby blanket that you need to whip up real fast, here you go. And it, it has, um, what do you call it? A nerdness to it. If you watch Call the Midwives, you can say this came from the, from the show. Let me give you one more look. It's so pretty. So pretty. Anyway, I need to wrap this up. Going over my time. <laughs> That's all. I'm still spinning the same thing. I didn't get a Pinterest. And finally, in the down bar below and in the, the down bar in the bottom of my show notes is a link to my Etsy store. Please go over, have a look around, like a few things. And if you see something that you just can't live without or that you want to give as a gift, I will happily sell it to you and get it to you lightning fast. <laughs> if you're in the area where you're going to be getting a lot of snow, please be safe, be careful, stay warm. And I'll see you in two weeks for the next episode of the Knit and Pearl Podcast. Bye, you guys.